So hey guys welcome back to part 2 of building the modern hacienda. Last time we made the bottom floor and we made the top floor and now we are going to complete this building. So get comfy and enjoy part 2. Let's go. So now back to the front we are going to put another layer on it and this will be 1, 2, 3 and 4. Four, we go into the corner we start from this block over here we add one we skip two and we add one more block we actually add two more so you get something like this now we are going to connect all these so we add one block on the top and we are sorry for the leg spike we are going to connect these two till you reach here now you can imagine what we are going to do. We are going to fill this in with glass. Like this. On this side of the house we make a window of two as well. So we add two blocks on either side and we connect it and we have a little window of two blocks. So now we end ended up with the easiest task and that is to connect all the white blocks or actually erase all the white blocks all the smooth part blocks with two extra all of them so over here these two these these all of these will be raised up with two extra blocks your house should now look something like this so let's go make the windows so the first thing we are, what we are going to do is we are going to this side of the house and we add a strip of blocks over here. So not all the windows will go up till here. Some will be cut off by one block. These we will leave. We go to the other side and here we will add some white smooth quart blocks till they reach each other like this. And on the other side, we will do this, that as well. So bring those two together like this. And of course, skip this one. Then from this block, we can extend the top block as well, all the way to, to what, the one over there. So just extend them all, only the top block like this then on this side we will skip this one we will skip this one as well and we will bring those two together and this one as well okay so another easy task is to add everywhere glass except for the parts where we have the balcony so over here no glass and also on the other side over here no glass are the other places where you could place glass like here in between place the glass all the way to the top everywhere and now that is done so as i said everything can be filled in with glass except for these two parts the rest can all be filled with glass so next step is actually just filling in the bottom let's just get a nice flooring into this and the flooring will be actually really easy only what you have to do is get beehives and maybe not in survival because maybe that's a bit too expensive if you want to use something else you can but i like to use beehives so what i do is i place one over here then skip one skip one all the time then i turn around because this block is actually based on where you're standing and which side it is going to, uh, to turn. So now we have to stand like this and we can make the strip done by adding these. So now we go one go so uh, this one go this way and the other one goes the other way and now we change that up so you get this pattern. And this will be all over the whole floor. Whew. That was a grindy task. But I did it. So next step. 
So next step is also a really grindy task but we have to do it and that is to make the second floor because we are done with the bottom floor. So what we do is we go to the top block, the top wood block and we add slabs. And as you can guess because this is the second floor or actually the first floor we have to fill this whole part again with slabs or with any slab you want. You can also use the wood type but I use the smooth quartz. Again, a grindy task. But I did it again. The floor is in. And we need a way to go up of course. Because otherwise we can't go to our rooms. So we go over here at the grey part with the glass. And we skip two blocks in this corner. Then we break down 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And we make this into a 2. Then we grab our glass pane and we make this all around till here so one well, before then we grab our quartz stairs and we do one upside down over here oh upside down upside down good job then we go around then we add two on this side normal then again upside down do normal again to upside down again and you can guess it to normal again over here as well and over here upside down so now we have a nice stair to go up so we made a slight mistake and that was over here what I did was I connected these two walls completely and that was wrong what we need to do is actually extend this wall till we reach it over here this part over here is actually a part that sticks out because there will be a roof on top so you can fill this part up with smooth quartz all the way till here and then it looks something like this and now we can actually start with the roof so let's start with a small part over here what we are going to do is actually pretty simple we are on this block the white block we add two of them, two of the slabs, and we make a trim all around of two slabs, like so. Then we make a strip of one. With one higher, of course, like this. And then we fill the rest up with one slab higher, and that's like so you get something like this now we need to make the big roof and that's also a grindy part but it's actually pretty simple so what we are going to do is we start over here now we start on the outside sorry what we are going to do is over here at these two pillar pillars we are adding on the top of the block one two slabs and just like we did over here, we may make a trim like this. We stick one out on both sides. Then we go in by one. And now we are going to make a trim all the way around of just two slabs. So two slabs make a trim all around the building. All the way till you end up. Oh, like spike. Till you end up over here again. Like so. And I reach it over here. So the first part is done. And you can already guess it. We need to make the second layer of the, of the roof. Which is just exactly the same. So we go up by one slab. And we make a trim of two again. All the way around. Till you reach the end again. Also when you come over here. Just... Just go to the other side for now, like this, then add one, two, and just keep it at that for now, and make the trim all the way around again, like this. Now we need a third part, which is exactly the same, we make another trim of two slabs all around again as you can see if you come over here this part is actually 
three wide and not two wide so it's a bit of an inconvenience the thing you can do is just fill it completely up so also here just fill it up and go on with the strip of two from this point forward and i did the third ring now we come over here and we see that we have this weird part what you have to do is just add a strip over here like this we will change it up, up later but for now just keep it like this so now we are not done with the roof yet we need one more strip of two with one slap buff so make again a strip of two all the way around as you can see you it doesn't really add up over here so what we are going to do is here in the middle we are skipping this is at the gray part by the way we skip two blocks one two and we add one over here and we connect this all the way over here now for now we can actually remove this line over here so extend this all the way till you go out by two so one two and here you can go with the strip again of two two slabs and you can connect this so now you get a bit weird with the sun you can see there's two it goes around here then you have a little line over here which connects all the way to here and this is actually the strip of two you connect and you keep on going and as you can see we made another layer and as you can imagine also over here we add three more so over here at the top these two then one and then one extra over here so now we came to the last layer and which will be not a strip of two but completely filled so what we are going to do is we go up by one slab and we are just going to fill this whole section up with slabs this will be the top of the roof and the last two one and there we go we filled up the whole roof this part looks a bit weird so what we are going to do is over here we add two slabs on top of this one we add one over here and we add three over here actually like this so two two again and then three now we have a nice roof for this part and that's actually the whole roof done so what we're now going to do is some decoration around the house so what i like to do is to give it some decoration we go over to this block over here and we add one slab and another slab over here and two fence posts actually extended one more then we go to the side and we go to this block over here i don't know why i have these leg spikes so we add one slab over here and we add a fence we go to the left and over here next to the window we do exactly the same just one fence like this gives it some detail some finishing touch so when we have done the front we go to the side and there we go place one over here next to this window so slab to make it a full block and then a uh, fence underneath it and then also on both sides on the white block so here and here and also two acacia fences like this then we go around and we are going to one put one over here in the on the middle block so over here and we go over here and then we have this big window and we place on both sides of the window also a little bit a little bit of detail we have this two high window over here and then we skip one block and we place one over here then we go around of course we are going to do one in the middle of this and on this side of the window as well like this and now we have done actual all the detail if it comes to the acacia slab and the uh, fences so we are going to work on the back side of the house uh, on the patch of here so first what we are going to do is we are going to make a nice sitting area underneath 
roof over here. So what we are going to do, we take our um, spruce slab, we make a full block out of it, or you just use the block. Then a cobblestone wall, two cobblestone walls, and then we use smooth stone slabs. We put two, then we go make one slab on either side, and we connect those two to the house. So also over here, all the way to here and you can choose to make a path so just roughly take the middle and you can say well uh, let's make a path of two over here and then as you can imagine we are going to fill this whole place up with slabs so i filled it in and now we are going to count one two three and four and then five on this side one two three four and five as you can see we can also do it like this, so 5 on this side and 4 on this side, plus 1 makes also 5. You can choose whatever you want and I make a path of 3 wide. So just make a path, I'm not going to make a full path, I'm just gonna just add some blocks. Just to give you an idea where you can place a uh, path. So when we have done that, we are going to use the cobblestone block. And on this wall over here, as you can see on this wall, we are going to add one cobblestone block. Then we skip one block. We add one, we skip one grass block again, and we place one cobblestone block again. And this one will be three wide. So now we are going to raise it up till you reach the roof. So if you are going to make it across, as you can see, you go on top of this place of the roof and then you can break these two and add cobblestone walls. So it looks like it's actually connected to the house and to the roof and as if it is built in. So now we are going to raise this all up. Also these uh, cobblestone blocks all the way up and you can delete this one over here and replace it with a cobblestone wall or a block and you can also raise this one up so now it looks like it's built into the house we will make a nice fireplace over here later so what we are now going to do is make a path around the house so over here we dig down one two and three at the door and then we dig it out a little bit maybe one two three four blocks or you can make it even five blocks doesn't really matter you can also make your own path i like to make uh, some block of a path over here and then we make a path of two like this all around the house all the way around the house so go around the corner over here then go all the way over to the other side let's take the not this down really fast let's see until you reach it over here at the stony part as you can guess we are going to fill this in with slabs and you end up with a nice path around your house like this now we are going to the front so here at the front we are going to make a nice detail as well. So on top of here we are placing the cobblestone slab. One, two. Then a cobblestone wall or a cobblestone, just cobblestone block. And we are going to count one, two, three, four and five. We go down from the last block all the way to the bottom and we are making a row over here. We skip one block and we make a row in the middle. Now we take our cobblestone slabs and we are going to extend it till you reach it over here. And that's it. Just some decoration to the house to break it up a little. We totally forgot the front door. So how to make a front door. You see just as always put a glass panes all the way to the top. Then go out by two. The middle one will be out by one and the top one will also out by two. 
and then a fence of choice in the middle as the handle and that's your door. So in this case we are also going to make a nice path around the house. So also a path of two going all around the house. Let's see, just go around like this, like this, till you reach it over here. And this one will be too wide as well. And there you go, a nice path around your house. And we are going to go back to the front and we are going to make the overhang. So for the overhang we need three materials. We need the iron bars, we need string and we need the grey carpets. So first what we are going to do is we are going to count from this smooth stone slab. We count one, two, three, four and five and then we go out on the grass over here and we place our iron bar and we raise it up by two more so we have three iron bars on top of each other then we go around the house to this side and we add one two and three iron bars as well so now we are going to use the string and what we are going to do is from this iron bar the top iron bar we add one so you almost can't see it but there is a string over here we add two like this and then all the way to the front door so everywhere you where you can place a string place a string like this you you barely can see it i know uh, but they are here and then we go make the corner and we add let's see one over here just all the way around the house oh that went wrong and go around the house Till you reach the iron bar over here and also on the iron bar we add one two strings and as you can imagine we are actually not two strings one string and as you can imagine we are going around the house by let's see one over here by two strings next to each other and I think that's oh no wait here, here. And that's it you you barely can see them but they are there you will see why because we need to put the carpet on top of it so a carpet goes on here then we need string of course over here as well otherwise you can place the carpet so carpet over here 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 and here this and this one will be three wide so one two and three and go all the way till you reach the house this and just fill it in and then it's too wide over here two carpets next to each other all the way around the house until you reach the iron bar over here and there you go we now have a nice overhang but there is there is string here you can't really see them maybe if you really look up you see them but it's not really in the way I would say but it gives a nice little touch an extra touch to the house which I really really like so next overhang so for the next overhang we need to go all around the house to the back and then over here we have three spruce planks next to each other and in the middle one we add one two and three iron bars then we only going to make an overhang of one wide not two wide so we just have to place string here, 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 and one over here, next and one next to that. Then you get glass, so you don't need to put a string over here and a string over here. And as you can imagine, we are going to put carpet all on top of these strings till you reach the iron bar, like this. Then we going around the house again and over here on the corner one we place three iron bars again and we place string one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we stop over here and we put carpet all on top of the strings and on this iron bar next overhang will be here also this overhang will be one wide 
and we need to place an iron bar over here one two and three then we going around the corner till you reach it over there with the string so one string over here then one more and the third one then we make a corner and all the way till you reach the stone and then as you can guess we place gray carpet on top and now we're done with the overhangs so the final finishing touch of this house will be on the back of the house because we forgot one thing and that's over here we need a nice fireplace so we break these two cobblestone blocks and we add campfires two of them then we going to take the acacia uh, signs we place one over here we just press done and we do this all around so also over here then go around here and one more you could place one over here as you want if as you want uh, maybe it's nice I don't know it's your own choice you don't have to do those signs it's just a nice touch to be fair so and now the only thing we have to do is place one glass pane over here we go around till you reach the other side of this cobblestone block and then we put the gray carpet on top all the way around on top of the glass and there you go so in theory the house is done of course the inside is just empty we didn't make the whole fence around it because that would take way too long if i would do that so we made the whole house actually just done we did all the uh, nice finishing touches the only thing we didn't do is the swimming pool i don't know if i should show you guys how to make a swimming pool or if you make your own swimming pool uh, if you like to see how i make the swimming pools then let me know in the comments down below and then i will consider to make those also in the next builds that will come up with a pool and then i will show you how i do that so let me know if you like to see if uh, how i make those pools also some people were requesting if i would do some interior design or at least some furniture uh, designs i could do that if you are interested in uh, some furniture examples and you want to to have some inspiration of what kind of uh, interiors you want or uh, furniture you want to put in your house then let me know as well and i will maybe make a video out of that also by the time of recording this video we already reached the 10 um the 10 mark subscribe no, anyway also at the time of recording this video we reached 10 subscribers it sounds like it's not a lot but for me it really is a lot and it always helps me it drives me it gives me the inspiration to do more youtube i know i'm not good at it uh, and because i just started and i know i don't have a lot of videos and that i have a really really irritating accent so i'm really sorry but i am so glad that at least 10 people were willing to watch my crazy videos and like to see what i built so thank you thank you to the 10 that subscribe and of course let's try to get higher up and let's try to get more and more subscribers more of an audience more of a community when i reach the thousand i have the chance to do full-time youtube because then i finally finally have permission to do full-time youtube it sounds a bit weird but that's just how the whole mechanics of youtube works so if i reach a thousand i can do this forever and i have way way more time on my hands to make these kind of videos now i'm just at school and i have my homework to do and of course i have my family that lives in the same house and of course i have a job so all those things that takes time and in that case i can really make a lot of youtube videos and i really try my best to do uh, to keep it up to date and to 
keep you guys up to date and to keep adding more and more videos sadly i can't make a daily video on for youtube but maybe one day we will reach that goal and i can put one, um, way more effort and time into youtube and i think that everybody would like that and i would really like that as well so thank you all thank you for watching i hope you enjoy it i hope you enjoyed building this house together with me and of course we will make an amazing house in the next video so in the next building video we will do an amazing house i created a long time ago and i made a special world for this and it's a house that is made on water as you can see so i have a super flat world for uh, buildings like the the hacienda that we just made but i also have a water world where we will build a lot of really cool floating houses or floating modern designed houses or maybe yachts or we will see what we will make over here now you have a little sneak peek behind me of the house what we will make the next time so consider subscribing so you don't miss out on that and thank you again for watching Thank you for supporting me. Thank you again for the 10 subscribers that we have till now. And I see you guys in the next video. So, bye bye.